He was a Portuguese missionary and explorer, known for his travels to Ethiopia in the early 16th century. He is recognized for joining the Portuguese embassy and spending six years in Ethiopia, where he wrote a report about the lands he encountered. His name is Francisco Alvarez. Francisco Alvarez, a Portuguese missionary and explorer, embarked on a remarkable journey to Ethiopia as part of the Portuguese embassy to Emperor Lebna Dengel. In 1515, accompanied by the returning Ethiopian ambassador Mateus, Alvarez set sail from Portuguese India to the distant lands of East Africa. Their mission was to establish diplomatic ties and foster trade between Portugal and Ethiopia. After a long and arduous voyage, the embassy finally arrived in Ethiopia in 1520, where Alvarez had the privilege of meeting the long-sought Portuguese envoy, Piro de Covilha. Alvarez immersed himself in the vibrant Ethiopian culture and society, learning about their customs, traditions, and way of life. His deep fascination with the land and its people led him to stay in Ethiopia for six years, becoming an integral part of the Portuguese presence in the region. During his time in Ethiopia, Alvarez witnessed the reign of Emperor Lebna Dengel and the political dynamics of the Ethiopian kingdom. He also had the opportunity to explore the surrounding areas, venturing beyond the borders of Ethiopia. One notable expedition took him to the Dalak Archipelago, a group of islands in the Red Sea, known for its abundant marine life and strategic location. Alvarez documented his observations of the archipelago, providing valuable information about its geography and resources. Another expedition led Alvarez to Cameron, an island located off the coast of Yemen. His exploration of the island and interactions with its inhabitants enriched his understanding of the region's maritime trade routes and cultural exchanges. These experiences expanded Alvarez's knowledge of the Indian Ocean trade network and its significance in connecting different civilizations. After six eventful years in Ethiopia, Alvarez returned to Lisbon in 1526-27. His incredible journey and first-hand encounters were meticulously recorded in a report titled, Verdadeira Informaqueo das Terras do Crest Joao das Indias, True Information About the Lands of Prester John of the Indies. This report provided valuable insights into the political, cultural, and economic landscape of Ethiopia and the surrounding regions, becoming a significant source of information for future explorers and scholars. Francisco Alvarez's expeditions and his detailed accounts of his travels have had a profound impact on our understanding of the East African and Indian Ocean regions. His documentation of the Dalak Archipelago and Cameron, in particular, shed light on the geographical and cultural diversity of these areas. Alvarez's contributions continue to inspire and inform explorers and historians, leaving an enduring legacy in the annals of exploration. As part of the Portuguese embassy to the Ngus Nagast, Francisco Alvarez embarked on a journey to Ethiopia. However, their first attempt to reach the port of Massawa was marred by the actions of Lopo Sors de Albergaria, governor of Portuguese India. Despite the setback, Alvarez and the Ethiopian ambassador, Mateus, persevered, waiting for the arrival of Sors' replacement, Diogo Lopez de Sequeira. Finally, in April 1520, they reached Massawa and proceeded to the court of Lebna Dengel. During his six-year stay in Ethiopia, Alvarez formed friendships with several Europeans who had gained favor with the emperor. In either 1526 or 1527, he returned to Lisbon, leaving behind a remarkable account of his travels. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.